Sebastian. Yeah. We've had so many great children on our program. A lesson program, to us all, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic work. We've got a fantastic adult now. Lily's here with the weather. <laughs> um, great to see that and it also of course helps the nature of our fields and everything else and we've got a few spectacular photos from the month haven't we yeah exactly there is so much to see at this time of year with the changing season and as it's the last day of april i thought we could do a little roundup for the best footage and videos for those of you at idea. home have sent in because there is a lot so thank you for those who've been sending in your videos now this one here and it's not just chicks but also seasonal visitors as well and also as it's getting warmer we're seeing more plant life as well plenty of flowers and that now final two videos just because they're so oh. cute Super also cute. from joanna oh. Our I find them mesmerising squirrels. I yeah. could watch them for ages out yeah. my window. Anyway, uh, so that's the wildlife. Yeah. Um, now, look, I remember last April was a washout. Mm -hmm. How's this April been weather-wise? I have to say, actually, very ordinary. In the UK, they've had more <sighs> rain than average, and it's been a bit greyer, less sunshine than average. But for us there, but let's get you weather details for the next few days and next week. Here's your forecast. Well, it was a bright and dry start this morning. Plenty of blue skies, but a deteriorating picture, really, in terms of the sunshine. We had some rather more ominous looking clouds making their way in this afternoon. And actually, tomorrow, we are hanging on to the grey weather and also drizzly could see some rain on its way, with temperatures turning quite a bit cooler as well. Now, the reason for that, we can see if we take a look at the satellite from earlier, we had this weather front out to our west, but see that is making its way towards us, bringing the grey and bringing the rain to behind that some cooler air. So that is why temperatures will drop a little bit. So this evening, some patchy rain and drizzle, the wind staying light to moderate. But actually, after around midnight, we will have some drier and clearer skies before dawn when that rain does creep back in again. Minimum temperatures there of 8 degrees across our islands. So as I said, quite a grey start tomorrow. That patchy rain and drizzle starts to arrive. And actually, drizzle is a threat throughout much of the day as the cloud thickens up. Winds, they're starting light but building up, getting breezier into the afternoon. And it's later then when we may see some more of this rain. Most of the heavier rain should be out over France, but we may get a touch of that with perhaps some lightning visible too. Temperatures, as I said, it will be a bit cooler, so highs of 13 degrees tomorrow. Let's get our times then of high water around midnight tonight and then later on between 12 and 1. And sea temperature there is 11.9 degrees, so we are so close to 12. There is creeping up the temperature of the water. But let's see our week as a whole then. As I said, it's a little bit unsettled with some rain tomorrow. We may have some bright spells further throughout the week, but the weekend is still changeable. Perhaps the driest and brightest of the days on Saturday.